So I've come up to a short line to explore today. I've been going through the waste rock piles just outside of it. Just large amounts of what appears to be chalcopyrite and lots of malachite in very small veins throughout all the rock. It's pretty interesting stuff to go through and kind of bodes well for what might be in the mine, which is just over this way here. I'll be getting in there in just a second. There's the one in the car behind. And there's a lot of waste rock. All of this has been built up from waste rock. All of it. It's up until there-ish. It's just a huge amount of waste rock coming right out of this. It appears to be a relatively large adit. This is what we're going to be checking out today. A lot of extra flashlights because I'm actually on my own for this one. Which is not always the smartest idea, but scheduling. So there is the adit. To squeeze right into this one today. And hopefully, uh, be pretty interesting. That's what we're hoping on anyway. So I'll catch you inside. Well, the information I was given is apparently correct, but it appears that with recent rains, it has flooded. And that water is. Ooh, probably a foot, a foot and a half there at least. Possibly get around on the far side. I don't know how much I want to try. I'm gonna peek in, see what I can do. All right, I'm inside now. Just past the gate, and got some interesting colors and stuff in the energy. Certainly a lot of it. I think I can take this far side. Along into the mine. Give it a try, see how far I feel. It's okay, because there's a lot of gross stuff going on just outside the mine, so probably not the same situation inside. I'll catch you hopefully after I pass this water. Alright, I've just gotten past the water right over here, and I found out why it dips down so aggressively because there's a decline and I can't see where it goes but it looks pretty deep so inclined shaft of some sort right at the entrance pretty unusual around here but hopefully we can find some mineralization other than the obvious sulfides and iron staining and we'll see what we can find Just gonna Switch flashlights here real quick. And then we'll continue on past the decline. Past. Some bits of rock falling up. Might not have been my smartest idea to come along today and try mine. has been wet in the past. This is pretty aggressive. Right now. Well, that just goes on and on. I'm gonna have to switch flashlights again. I need the pinpointer. Too many flashlights in my pocket. Alright. It looks like it just keeps going. Alright, we're gonna check it out. very quickly and the air is no longer good. So I think we'll leave the solo exploration at this. This is obviously a tunnel meant for driving in. This is cool. Wow. You can see. Oh, 
There's some water I'm shining a light on. I can see the shadow moving, the light moving in the distance. There's puddles of water down there, certainly. Anyway. Looks like they did plan on driving it further. Looks like they just didn't get an opportunity to. I think that's the end of this solo explorer. This is a pretty cool one. Catch you again outside to see if we can find some more pyrites. Then on the way out of the mine, taking one last look at the rather substantial waste rock pile here. And finding some pretty good samples of, py of charcoal pyrites and uh, some malachite. Very little malachite in this sample, but there's a whole bunch of others. even if it is in small amounts. It's pretty good stuff. Good combination of minerals in several places all over. Hopefully it's coming across on camera. But some green up here. There's a whole bunch of different minerals all over the piles here.